Hello everyone, today I am going to be talking about yellow journalism, also known as the yellow press, in the adult and culture section of Story of America cards, in the area of from 1896 to 1900, and it caused a war. So let's find out how that happened. Yellow journalism and yellow press are terms used for journalism and associated newspapers that present little or no legitimate well-researched news, while instead using eye-catching headlines for increased sales. Techniques may include exaggeration of news events, scandal-mongering, or sensationalism. At the close of the 19th century, America entered upon a wild and confusing era. There was financial panic and depression, increasing concentration of corporate wealth and the growth of trust, and the development of a powerful, modernized American Navy. These and other influences fed the fires of war in Cuba and the Philippines, and those fires were kept burning by William Randolph Hearst, and Joseph Pulitzer and their yellow presses. Yellow press and yellow journalism were terms derived from the comic pages of certain daily newspapers in which the Yellow Kid, a popular cartoon character who wore a yellow nightgown, was published. The Yellow Kid first appeared in 1896 in Pulitzer's New York World and two years later in Hearst New York Journal. The two papers in bitter competition for every larger circulations stressed crime, sex, violence, scandal, bribery, and political corruption. This was the stuff upon which yellow journalism thrived on. Many doubtful New Yorkers were outraged by methods these newspapers employed to exploit a public emotions on sensitive issues. Both World and Journal stirred readers' emotions with biased stories about Spanish atrocities and opp oppression in Cuba, resulting in a public outcry against Spain's continued rule over Cuba. For several years, Herson Punzer played up this story for all it was worth. It then, in January 1898, President William McKinley sent the battleship Maine on a goodwill visit to Havana with Splain's blessing. During the first week in February, Hearst Journal published a letter it had been obtained written by Henri de la May, the Spanish minister in Washington to, gover to his government. In it, de la May insulted McKinley the, and the Americans were outraged. A week later or so later, February 15th, the main exploded in Havana Harbor, killing 160 of her crew. Hearst developed eight pages daily for a full week to the main story and the chatter special boats to run dispatches back and forth between New York and Havana. The instructions in the press continued until a large segment of American operation and with it in Congress won towards a call for war to out Spain from Cuba. After the war, a different political climate took over the United States and with it came a different kind of journalism, more inclusive and more interested in correcting apparent injustice. And that was the Yellow Press. I hope you liked it this and that you learned at least something from it and give it a hint from what I'm going to be doing next in the series. If you're interested, I'm going to be going into art and talk about an artist who was once a shopkeeper and what newspapers were like in colonial America. So see you next time.